but the thing that, uh, that I find most striking uh, is uh, the enormous, remarkable capability of virtually every small child for, for learning. They, they start out uh, eager, intellectually wide-eyed, uh, asking extremely clever questions about the world. And then something happens, uh, by and large, to, to discourage them. And I think it's a tremendous waste of, of natural resources. Uh, for example, a kid asks, uh, Mommy, why is the grass green? And very often you get a, uh, an answer like, oh, don't ask dumb questions, or who knows, uh, when in fact it's an extremely profound question. And how much, how much better well, why would it be? Why is the sky blue, or anything like that? Yeah. In both those cases, it, it goes to the fundamentals, in one case of biology, and the other of a, of a kind of physics. How much better it would be to, uh, to say to the child, uh, that's a good question, Johnny. I don't know the answer. Maybe we can look it up. Or nobody knows. Maybe when you grow up, you'll be the person to find out. Uh, I think kids which are, who are discouraged from asking those questions wind up learning the lesson that there's something bad about using the mind, and we lose resources. And we need those intellectual resources because we are in very perilous times. And I think the complex and subtle problems that we face can only have complex and subtle solutions. Right. And we need people able to think complex and subtle thoughts. And I believe a great many children have that capability if only they're encouraged.